Today we're going to learn geometric series. And to show you geometric series, I will tell you about my heritage. I um, happen to be part Irish. How Irish do I look? One quarter, one half. I'll tell you. I am one third Irish. Are you incredulous? You may be thinking, well, I don't know, you can't really be one third Irish. You have to be like one quarter or three eighths or one sixteenth or something where the denominator is a power of two. But I'm telling you, I am one third Irish. And for that, let me show you my genealogy tree. This is me. These are my parents. And these are my four grandparents. My grandma happened to be Irish, which makes me one quarter Irish, at least. Now my grandma wanted to marry somebody with at least some Irish heritage. And uh, she was lucky because my grandpa, who had two loving parents, who had two loving parents, his grandma happened to be Irish. And this makes me 1 16th Irish, because if I have four grandparents, I have eight great grandparents, and I have 16 great great grandparents. So 1 16th, which is the same as 1 4th squared. So that adds 1 over 4 squared to my Irishness. Um, I, I kept looking and uh, believe it or not, whoops, sorry about that, my uh, great great grandpa, if I look at his grandma, she was Irish which makes me 1 64th or 1 over 4 cubed more Irish. And believe it or not, this trend goes on forever. It keeps going. Uh, until the beginning of the world. And uh, as we know, the Earth has been around for infinitely many years. So my Irishness keeps adding on forever. 1 over 4 to the 4th, 1 over 4 to the 5, etc. And that's my total Irishness, this infinite sum. Now let's try to calculate it, let's try to see how much it is. I don't know how much it is, but since it's my Irishness, I'm going to call it I. That's I. Uh, I don't know. Let's multiply I by 4 to see what happens. How much is 4I? Well, one quarter times four is one. This is one quarter times four. One quarter squared times four is one quarter. One quarter cubed times four is one quarter squared, etc., etc. And since, as I said, the world has, is infinitely many years old, this is an infinite sum, this is an infinite sum. And let's see, why don't we subtract these two? 4i minus i is 3i. And on the right, well, we have this 1. Uh, this one quarter cancels with this one quarter. The one quarter square cancels with this one quarter squared. And everything happens to cancel because if there's infinitely many terms on the bottom, there's also infinitely many terms on the top. And there's one for each one here. Disclaimer, if you like formality, there is some calculus here that needs to be explained. And uh, there's an uh, argument with limits that shows that this is possible. But if you believe me, as you believe me that I was part Irish, this works. And so, 
3i is equal to 1, which means i is equal to 1 third, which means I am 1 third Irish, as I told you. Um, I, I can see that this may be hard to grasp. The first time I saw it, I thought it was hard to grasp. It's a sum of infinitely many numbers that gives you a finite number. And so normally, to understand things, a picture can be useful. Let me draw a picture for you. This is a triangle. A triangle with area one. I'm going to cut this triangle in four. One, two, three, and four pieces. So each one of them has area one quarter, right? So let's say one quarter, one quarter, and one quarter. Okay. This is the red. This is the blue. And this is the black. Now we have this one, which area is a quarter. I'm going to cut it in four as well. So, one, two, three, four of equal area. Since the area is one quarter, each one is one over four squared. So, one over four squared for the blue one, one over four squared for the black one, and one over four squared for the red one. And I keep doing this. This little one, 116. 116. Oh, one, sorry, one over four cubed. One over four cubed is one over 64. 1 over 4 cubed, and I keep going on forever. Um, if you look at it, you notice that what I've colored red is the same as what I've colored blue, and it's the same as what I've colored black, right? And since the total area is 1, then each one of them is third. In particular, looking at the middle, I have that one third of the area of the triangle is equal to one fourth plus one fourth squared plus one fourth cubed and forever. This is a geometric way to see that one third is equal to this infinite sum. And you may be wondering, well, like one quarter is kind of arbitrary here, right? There's not really a, anything special about a quarter. It turns out if I have any number between minus 1 and 1, this sum, 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed, go on forever, happens to be 1 over 1 minus x. The way to prove this as an exercise is to do the same thing, but using x instead of 1 quarter. Uh, notice that this constraint is important because if I have x is equal to, I don't know, 5 to 10, then this is going to be 1 plus 10 plus 100 plus 1,000. That has no closed form, that's infinity, right? And if I have minus 10, then this is 1 minus 10 plus 100 minus 1,000. You're subtracting and adding big numbers. This makes no sense. But if x is between minus 1 and 1, this works. And this is the simplest of the geometric series. Thank you.